Howdy folks, we're here today to show you how to make crockpot goodness. It's a simple recipe that I came up with because I'm pretty lazy in the kitchen. And pretty much anybody can cook in the crockpot and have no trouble at all. What you want to start out with is get you some hamburger meat, some Jimmy Dean, you know, breakfast sausage. It's good stuff. Next, what you'll need is some black beans, 15 ounces. Some black eyed peas, some Omni, your delicious Rotel store brand, and some taco seasoning. I also like to throw some potatoes in there as well. Three ought to do you if you're just looking to feed a small family. <laughs> All right, first thing you're going to want to do, set your crock pot on low. I mean, you don't have to do it in any particular order because when you put stuff in the crock pot, it all turns out the same anyway. Then go down here, wash your potatoes, get all the dirt and the chemicals, all that nasty stuff off. You don't want to get sick. Wash them good. Scrub them. Keep scrubbing. I'll use three. All right. Next, what we're gonna do, you can trim them if you like. You can cut the skin off, but I don't do that because I don't think it makes a difference in the taste. Cut them in half. Cut those halves in half. Cut those halves in half. Then you just cut you some small pieces. The smaller they are, the less time they take to cook. Just slide them on in there. There we go. Next, what I do is the hamburger meat. Because it takes a while to cook, so let's go ahead and put it on the stove. I throw your butt on there and get that stuff to boiling a little bit. You can use grease, I use water. It's all the same. Throw a big old slab in there. I got one and a half pounds here because I like hamburger meat. All right, whenever you open your canned goods, I like to wash all the liquid outside of it. Because that black beans, I don't know what all that black liquid is. Get it all out of there. Oh, excuse me. Then you just pour it on in there. Next, I'm gonna throw in some Omni. Washed it all off. Some people like to use corn. I like Omni. This is my favorite ingredient of all, the black eyed peas. Preferably no snaps. They're nasty. I'm gonna wash that out of there too. All them black eyed peas have a Real strong taste if you don't get all that stuff out of there. Pour those in. Some chopped onions, dried. They all turn out to be the same in the end anyway. Put a little bit of garlic salt in there. Stir it up real good. We'll just let that keep simmering for a while. We'll go back over here. We got to throw in some Rotel. Always a good ingredient. I don't drain the juice on this because it adds a lot of good flavor. All in all, this little meal probably costs about six bucks. You buy the cheap store brand stuff like I do. Mm -mm. Oh, it's cooking now. That's good stuff right there. I don't care who you are. After your meat's done cooking, since I use water, I'm gonna pour it all in here. If you use grease or something, you might wanna drain the grease. Ooh, it's gonna be a full pot. Last ingredient, just your regular taco seasoning. 
Dump it on there. Then you just mix it up. Get it all in there real good. Bring the potatoes around, hominy. That is a full crock pot load. That might be good for a few meals. All right, once you got it stirring good, you've got your crock pot on high, got all your seasoning in there. There is one other seasoning that I like to add because I like it spicy. The best seasoning ever created. Tony Sashri's Creole. You gotta figure out, you gotta eat some before you know how much to put in there, but just throw you a good bit in there. The more, the spicier. We leave our crock pot on for an hour, put the lid, leave it on high for an hour, I'm sorry. And we'll come back in about an hour and drop it down to low. I usually leave it on overnight, I like to make it, you know, before I go to bed or make it in the morning before you go to work and when you get home after work, you got a delicious meal waiting for you.